Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 28th of March. I'm James Spann. Hey, a chance we see 60s around here today. That'll feel good. And rain returns this weekend. Let's go in there and take a look at some of the shots around the network early this morning. These were captured at 5 o'clock. There's the Kalman Sky Cam. That's uh, US 278 down below, just east of downtown Kalman. There's a look at downtown Jasper, as seen from the King Building in Walker County. And that's one of our Sky Cams up in Huntsville, of course, off of the distance. You can see the United States Space and Rocket Center and the mighty Saturn V. Well, the pattern beginning to de amplify across the nation. And that should mean a warm up in coming days, but uh, still pretty cold this morning. 28 for Haleyville, 30 for Fort Payne and Gadsden. Most other spots around here in the low to mid 30s, but a pretty good chance we'll see middle 60s today. Nationally, it's still cold. I mean, uh, yeah, even down in Miami, they're down in the low 50s. You know, they had 40s down there yesterday. But slowly but surely, we'll dig out of this deep freeze. Convectively speaking, the day three outlook, this is for Saturday. We have a risk now to find through uh, parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. But beyond that, there's no risk for um, uh, Sunday or early next week. And, and the chance of any severe weather here does look very small. And there's the current watch warning map. Uh, things pretty quiet around the nation. Most of the issues here in the southeastern states with uh, freeze warnings for temperatures this morning. We'll check the GFS, the global forecast system. This is valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars you see a northwest flow aloft and down below that the day should be bright and sunny maybe a few scattered clouds mid 60s are likely today tomorrow hey we'll be above freezing i say that there might be a one or two pockets that make a run for it but we're thinking the lows should be close to 40 tomorrow morning and then the high should be in the upper 60s and this run really keeps the showers north of here over Tennessee and Kentucky. We'll just mention a slight chance of a shower tomorrow for the northern quarter of the state, but it looks like a small risk. Most everybody should be dry. Now, Saturday, you can see the GFS looks uh, showery for about the northern half of the state. We'll mention the chance of a few uh, rain showers on Saturday. And the high should be pretty close to 70. And that'll feel like a heat wave. And uh, the sky generally cloudy. Down south, the weather should stay dry for the folks that are still on the Gulf Coast for spring break. Now, this is Sunday, and you can see that the upper support is way, way north of here. An upper low near Duluth, Minnesota. There's an upper low that's uh, just southwest of uh, San Francisco. Down below, the cold front uh, is running down through the mid-south, approaching Memphis in advance of that. We'll have a pretty decent moisture feed, so showers and a few storms are likely on Sunday. Highs, low 70s. Uh, the air will be somewhat unstable, but the, the better shear just way, way north of here. Don't have the maps to show you, but it does not look like a severe weather setup at all. In the front, because the upper support is so far north, it's just going to hang up north of here. This is Monday, and the front's uh, stalled out near Interstate 40. And accordingly, we'll need to keep the chance of rain going into Monday. And Monday would still be very mild if this is right. Highs should be in the low maybe even mid-70s down in South Alabama. So uh, rain chances linger into Monday. This is Monday night. The cold front uh, begins to push in. Uh, the front, uh, this is just after midnight, Monday night, a little south of here. And uh, the air begins to cool down behind that. And this is Tuesday. Thickness values come way down, and we will not get out of the 50s as colder air returns. Now, look at this. This is Wednesday of next week. Now, Again, we've seen a lot of model madness in here. The GFS develops a surface low in the western gulf, and the moisture begins to go up and over the colder air at the surface. Now, if this were January, this might be a big snowstorm. Thankfully, it's April, and that's not going to happen, but this would suggest that clouds will increase on Wednesday. It's going to be a cool day, highs only in the uh, uh, you know low to mid-50s, and some rain beginning. And then uh, Wednesday night would be wet. Thursday, the surface low is south of Apalachicola, and the rain begins to move out at midday Thursday. So uh, this scenario could change. 
The model madness has been very evident here, but for now, the GFS hinting that we could see a cool rain falling Wednesday or Wednesday night of next week. But obviously, that's not a severe weather setup. It'll be pretty chilly when that rain falls. But because of the clouds and rain, we would not have a freeze if this is ripe. We'll go through later this month, April the 11th. That looks kind of stormy. And the following day, it winds down. Look at the cold air coming down the plains again. Goodness. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.